The last thing to talk about is what's called uh, connected sets. So a set E, and I want to be, I'm going to give an intuitive version and then we'll be a little bit more precise because we have to be really careful when we do this. But a set E is called connected if uh, there exists a continuous path between any two points in E uh, that stays in E. Okay, this is just kind of an intuitive uh, version. So for example, this set is connected because pick any two points you can find a continuous path between the two points that stays inside that set. Uh, this set um, how do I want to do this? If I were to take the union of two circles and then connect them with that that line, this set is also connected because you can take any point here and any point here and you can certainly connect them. Uh, you could do the same with the other circle. Or if you take two points in opposite circles, you could find a continuous path that connects them. Okay, so those two sets are, uh, these two sets are connected. Of course, to be uh, not connected, to be separated, which is the word that we'll use, that's where you have something like, you have two parts. Maybe there's an isolated point Okay, but there's no way that you can get from a point here to a point here. Uh, it, it, whatever continuous line you draw, it's going to go outside of the set. Okay, and so um, those uh, two pieces, these two regions, are are not connected. Okay, so formally, two regions. Uh, e and F, which are we're thinking of as subsets of the complex numbers, are separated if there exist uh, open sets A and B, so that A and B are disjoint, meaning that they don't overlap at all. Let me write that. So the intersection of A and B, that's the set of everything that A and B have in common. If that's the empty set, meaning that they have no points that overlap. So let me start again. Two regions E and F are separated if there exists dis disjoint open sets A and B uh, such that E is a subset of A and F is a subset of B. So what that looks like graphically, if we just go back up to our picture, we could find open sets, ignore this isolated point here, uh, ignore the points inside, but we could find open sets that don't overlap, uh, say A and B, where uh, this, is, this would be E and this would be F, where E is contained in A and F is contained in B. Okay, so there are disjoint open sets containing each of those two regions. Okay, so that's what it means to be separated. And uh, a set E is connected if uh, no, so a set E is gonna be connected if it cannot be split into, um, so if, if E cannot be uh, split into a uh, union of um, separated pieces. Okay, so to be connected means that you can't take it and split it up. You can't um, partition it into uh, separated pieces. So for example, Again, again, it's a little bit subtle, but think about just some straightforward connected set. 
there's no way that you can split this into two separated uh, regions. Because no matter how you separate it, if you were to separate it, say, here, it doesn't matter whether the border goes on the left or the right. Uh, the border's got to be somewhere in the set. So let's say that the border is on the right, and then the open part is on the left, or the part without the border there is on the left. There's no open set that's going to contain both of these, because if you were to have an open set, so the example that you had before wouldn't work anymore. If you were to have some open set here, okay, you could take that set and it would contain this left piece. But if you want to have an open set that contains this right piece, it needs to contain this border itself. And so what that means uh, is that it's going to be slightly bigger in order for that open set to fit inside. And now it overlaps. This is a, a I'm not a good artist, sorry. Um, but there, it slightly overlaps, right? There's some points that are in the intersection there. So there's no way that that piece can be separated um, into uh, two pieces, okay? So that's what a connected set is. So again, it's a little bit subtle, uh, but that's the basic idea.